Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, welcome back to another week um, of children's ministry via YouTube. Um, we're excited that you guys are here and that you're watching this Sunday. Today we have a story from Genesis about a man named Joseph. Um, we thought it was kind of fitting during this time. Um, it's been a very hard few months. Um, and it's kind of hard to understand it sometimes why, you know, why we're going through something really hard and especially when you're young, it's very, it's hard to kind of make sense of it. Um, so we have a story to kind of share a little hope that even though, you know, God's giving us a difficult time that we're going through, that something good can come out of that difficult time. So we will go ahead and read the story. Like I said, we're reading from Genesis today, and it is a story about a man named Joseph. Joseph was one of Jacob's 13 children. Joseph's older brothers disliked him because he tattled. They disliked him even more when their father gave Joseph a colorful new robe. They really disliked him when Joseph said, I had a dream. We were tying bundles of grain, and your bundles bowed down to mine, like I was your king. Our king, his brothers wailed, no way. I had another dream, Joseph said. The sun, moon, and stars bowed down to me. One day, Joseph went to check on his brothers in the fields. And when they saw him, they said, we'll get rid of that dreamer who thinks he's so great. Then they grabbed Joseph and threw him into a well. Later, a group of traders came along riding on camels. Where are you going, the brothers asked. To Egypt, the men said. So Joseph's brothers sold him to the traders. We'll mess up Joseph's new robe and tell Dad that a wild animal killed him, the brothers decided, and that's what they did. All right, so not exactly a happy story, and that is not the full story of Joseph. That's just the beginning part of his life. Um, but we thought it was very fitting to share that something terrible happened. Um, he, his brothers turned on him and sold him to a trader, and then that trader later on goes and sells him into slavery. So Joseph had a very, very hard life, and he was kind of questioning why God would give him such such a hard time to go through. Um, but little did he know that God had a bigger plan, and that plan was that someday he was going to save a lot of people called the Israelites, which... Again, when you're first going through it, you're wondering why. Why God? Why me? Why is all of this happening? Um, but again, God always has a bigger plan. And something good is going to come out of that plan that he has. We may not see it right away, but it's there. So thankfully, we're not going through as hard of a time as Joseph did. Um, but it is still hard nonetheless. You know, we had to stay inside more. We stopped going to school and seeing our teachers and seeing our friends every day. And um, that can be very hard. You had to stay inside more, you know, or even if you could go outside, it was only in your own yard. And going through that is very hard. And sometimes you're maybe not asking God why, you're asking maybe mom and dad why. Why are we going through this hard time? And it's very hard in that moment to kind of see past it. But there are some good things that, you know, God had in mind coming out of this. And one of those, I think, is that we had to spend more time with our families. Um, now that we're home more, we get to see mom and dad maybe a little bit more and get to spend some time playing games or watching movies or playing in our yards together. and. You know, that family time is very important, and I know that everybody loves to spend time with their family. So maybe you don't get to go to school um, and see your teachers. Maybe you don't get to hang out with your friends as much, but maybe mom or dad is home more during the day from work, and maybe you're all eating dinner as a family more often or waking up together and having breakfast. So we understand that it's really, really hard sometimes to see past those hard moments, but always, always try to find the good because it's there and God's maybe not showing us right out. You may have to look a little, but it's there and God is 
doing that for us. So even when God puts us in a hard time, look for the good that God is trying to get out of this for you and for everybody else. So today after, um, after the lesson, sorry guys, we had, we had a little friendly helper today. Um, so after the video and the lesson, I hope that you'll go over to the Facebook page, the Aviano Baptist Church Facebook page, and that you will take a look at that craft that we have. It's a great family craft since, you know, our lesson today is about um, the joy it is that we get to spend more time with our families during this time. So we kind of did a fun family craft for you all to do. So we hope that you'll go take a look at it and that you guys will go ahead and do it. And we will see you right back here on YouTube next week for another lesson. Um, we may be one helper free next week, but he wanted to say hi today. Um, so we hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next week. Bye.